Hello Rust developers and welcome to another Gazebo in 5 minutes video provided by The Construct, a channel about Rust. I am Marco Arruda and in this video we are going to learn how to launch RVs using a pre-configured file. Okay? But before anything else, let's talk about autonomous mobile robots is one of the most essential cores for a robotics degree. But the preparation of such kind of course requires a lot of work. In this free webinar, we are going to show how you can teach this course effectively by using ROS-based robot simulation. For more details, please find the link in the description and you are going to reach this page where you can subscribe to the webinar. Okay? So now let's start with the video. I'm going to open the latest project we have created in the series, which was number 9. So uh, we are going to open the, the robot model in Arvis. And as you can see, we have every time we open Arvis, we have to configure it all over again because we don't have a configuration file created already. So let me show you how we can save some time and have our robot model shown every time you reopen this tool. So let's start opening uh, launching Arvis tool. So Ross launch my robot description. We have the file there, arvis.launch. And in order to see that, of course, we have to open graphical tools. Let's put it bigger. Let's click the login button. And here we have, there it is. So for example, we have a robot already. We have to change the fixed frame for our link chases. We have also to add here the robot model visualization in order to see the model we have created. Okay. And I don't know, maybe you want to change a little bit here. For example, you can change to see the collision, to see the visual parts. And maybe you want to see uh, the axis of the links we have. Okay. And then suddenly you want to change something in your robot model. For example, you modify your URDF file and then you have to relaunch Arvis. And what does happen when you open it again? You lose everything and you have to configure it all over again. So let's skip this part. Let's be more productive. So let's configure again, but for the last time, okay? So let's add again uh, robot model. Here we have robot model link chases properly configured. I don't know, maybe I want to also check to enable the collision visualization and expand the links and show the access, show trail of the robot. And then you just need to come here and save config file as I'm going to put in my workspace, otherwise it's not going to be saved in my project when I save it uh, into RustDS database. Okay, so I'm going to save it inside of simulation workspace, the same package I'm using to work with this robot model. I'm going to create a new folder here. I'm going to call it, of course, Arvis. It's quite intuitive. So inside of Arvis file, I'm going to call it robotmodel.arvis. There it is. We have it saved. Uh, let's close Arvis. Just control C on the terminal you have launched before. And then you can check we have a new folder here, Arvis, and our file is right here. Of course, we are not going to modify this file manually because all those configurations are extracted from Arvis graphical tool when you change there, of course. So you can just close this file. We are not going to work on it. And then next, next time we launch Arvis, we are going to have everything configured. Okay. But of course, we have to change something in our launch file. And this is just an argument that we have to pass. I'm going to copy and paste. So basically, it's just an argument that you have to pass here, args minus d, and then you have to find the file inside of my robot description package, the same package we have been working with. Inside Arvis folder, we have robot model dot Arvis. Okay, so just make sure copy and paste the name of the file because it must be exactly the same. And now you can just relaunch. And in the graphical tools, we may have Arvis already configured. There it is. 
Okay, great. So I hope it can help you. Now you can save some time because every time you have to modify the robot, you can just relaunch Jarvis and have the workspace properly configured. That's all for today. Did you like the video? If you did, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell to receive the notifications about our videos. We are publishing videos about ROS every day. Either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. See you!